Team trees, they're great. No, they're not great. And it needs to be said, they're not great. And I need to talk about it. If I were any type of tree, I would be an oak tree because they offer the greatest biological services or they're one of the highest in offerings of biological services, meaning they can store a massive amount of carbon, they live for a very long period of time, they produce flowers and fruits, so they provide food for other animals, they attract insects, they are good nesting trees for many different species. So because the oak tree is, you know, grounded and strong and, and lives on forever and, uh, you know, but also it has so much value to an ecosystem, I think I'd want to be an oak tree. When I first heard about Team Trees, I was skeptical, mainly because it was a bunch of kind of celebrities of social media and you know, sort of these corporate leaders at the face of it. And then sort of a deluge of random people around the world, you know, patrons. And so I thought, yes, I can see how this, you know, has a good heart at its core. They're trying to do a good thing, but I was definitely in my gut very skeptical of team trees. Well, I think most people understand that trees collect carbon dioxide and, and release oxygen, but they do so much more. It's pretty interesting. Every tree has a different measurable amount of biological services it can provide. No, planting trees is definitely not enough to stop climate change. Climate change is a complex, multivariate issue. We will never have the same earth that we did in the past. However, we should put effort into remedying climate change. And there are so many things we can reverse and improve. I think improvement is a key word. There are so many solutions at, at our fingertips right now. We, we do have plans through the Paris Climate Accord that have been in development for decades now. Trees are definitely, planting trees, are definitely not the sole solution by far, no. I think people who have power, whether financially or socially or whatever, if they, if they have influence, really they need to do their research to understand if, if their investment in environmental conservation or uh, regeneration is, is the best approach. When I looked at Team Trees and what they were doing, there were some red flags and I immediately thought, rather than investing a dollar or a million dollars into this program, there are so many other programs out there that have already been doing conservation work for, for decades. A couple that come to the top of my head in the US and actually internationally, IUCN and um, Earth Policy Institute, and they're doing it much better than Team Trees. I think people identify with trees, like trees, more than other environmental issues like trash in the ocean or water quality or whatever, because I do believe people tend to have an emotional connection to trees. However, it's, it's harder for people to swallow these bigger environmental issues, one, because they're icky, and two, because they're more complex. It's it's not fun to, <laughs> it's not as fun to deal with really complex issues versus, you know, this sweet feeling of planting a tree and going, oh, cool, I fixed the problem. <laughs> I done something good. Trees are pretty amazing because they store so much information inside of the tree as well. Maybe some people know like when you look at the rings of a tree, like if you cut it in half and look at those rings, you can see environmental history right right there and, and where there were droughts. You know, those lines, those different layers, maybe more narrow when there was years where there was a drought. Because of that, trees hold so much valuable information if we're, you know, needing to know environmental history, which we do and always will need to do. Trees have been around longer than us. So I imagine, you know, species developed on this earth in coexistence with trees before humans. Everything on the earth had this sort of symbiosis with trees, and then we came along and screwed that up. I've become aware that there are many people whose opinions will never change. They're completely apathetic towards the environment. You just need to learn how to 
take your emotions out of it with those people and focus on where you can have an impact and don't let them slow you down. Those people will always be there and you just need to um, accept that that's the case and, and learn how to work around it. When I think about other environmental issues that are critical, the first one I think of is soil conservation and soil quality. Soil is critical for our survival on this planet. We do not value soil enough in this world. Soil is built up of sand, silt, and clay, a different ratio of the three. And in soil science, they use a little triangle model, sand, silt, clay and different types of soils have different types of ratios. Our food is typically grown in soil. Buildings are built on different mixtures of soil. We need soil to hold <laughs> earth together, essentially. It's a massive challenge as well, uh, preserving soil and keeping it intact. And uh, so far, humans haven't been very good at it, but there's organizations like USGS that work very hard to stay on top of this. I think people lie underneath trees because it's like um, a feeling similar to like going back to their childhood. When you sit underneath one, you can look up and you can see so many living things and hear all the different birds and um, animals that are up above you. It's, it's such a unique experience. Soil conservation and soil resources might be more valuable than trees because also soil collects and stores carbon dioxide as well, perhaps even more than trees. I think trees are sort of the like bubblegum of conservation, you know, showmanship. It's, it's easy, they're cheap to produce, they're really cheap to install, and uh, you know, a dollar goes a long way. When we aggregate all those dollars, we do have a massive budget that can have a huge positive impact on the environment. And then suddenly it's like, this is very achievable. If everyone was doing a sort of maybe legacy amendment like they have in Minnesota, where every taxpayer there pays like a dollar and it goes into a fund that works to test the quality of water, soil, air, um, and ecosystems throughout the state. And then they aggregate that data and figure out which areas need the most attention for um, conservation and uh, preservation. I mean, you're seeing around the world uh, because of droughts, or because of poor soil maintenance in agricultural settings, soil is eroding rapidly into streams, lakes, rivers, and the ocean. Not only does that impact the, the water quality and make it perhaps not drinkable anymore or swimmable anymore. When you're in cities, you typically see like those city grates that remind you that this water goes in here and it ends up in the ocean. So don't pour your Coca-Cola in it or piss in it or dump your leaf litter from your yard in it. You know, there's designated places where you put that stuff, where it is treated, and it's us doing the best we can for now to maintain uh, our waste. As we're seeing due to climate change, more droughts or drying out of regions and due to development, we are seeing almost different species of soil like disappearing along with it. In the, in the prairie region of the United States, we would call something a, a remnant prairie if it has never been tilled or turned by a machine. If the Native Americans did it, that's okay because they were using simple tools that had a minimal to no impact on the soil. So yes, we can create soil, but it will never be exactly the same as what has been building up for thousands of years. It takes a hundred years for a centimeter of soil to develop. When people carve into trees, it's not so good for the tree, actually. It's sort of like taking a hit to the immune system of the tree. It allows for infections and insects to get in, and it can really hurt the tree and potentially kill it. Everybody likes to do it because they like to <laughs> commemorate their moments this way, but I wish people didn't do it. <laughs> I think people who work in the sciences who maybe specialize in trees, they see a much more multivariate, like complex world in that tree and perhaps even an ecosystem. You know, we look at like the oak tree, I was talking about how they provide such a huge 
positive biological impact on an ecosystem providing all this habitat and food. Or think of a massive, massive tree in the rainforest, how each layer of the tree is like a whole different ecosystem. Those trees are ancient and how those trees have more life in one single tree than perhaps hundreds of acres in a southern United States. It would be a massive challenge to develop a program that could get people to care as much about soil as they do about trees. I'm just imagining people going around the world like pouring a bucket of soil out and being like, yeah, but they're not gonna do that. Um, it's not as sexy. You know, I think people in general wanna be good people and their heart is in the right place. And things like trees or the honeybee are sort of this gateway drug into environmentalism. What people need to start doing is when they get that emotional trigger from a tree or, or honeybees, take it one step further and think beyond that one species. And think about the ecosystem. Think about the water, the soil, the all the different species that are connected in that space. And think about how you can help. Well, for every dollar donated, Team Trees planted a tree. And uh, this is what I'm talking about, where you know, no one comes in and maintains the trees after they've been planted. For everyone at Team Trees, I understand that you mean well. You're probably not experts in this space of environmental conservation and activism, so I totally understand that your heart's probably in the right place. Maybe it's not too late. I think they could turn this around and um, take their resources and a actually have a much more positive impact on the environment. You know, we'll never get back to the way things used to be, but we can definitely make things better, absolutely.